Hello everybody and welcome back to Cthulhu Saves the World with Isabel. Where we left off, I um, was a little in over my head. Um, <laughs> I recall uh, panicking just a little bit. Um, but let's see... Okay, so there are only four battles left in this area, so I should be fine um, for MP. I thought I heard a noise. Anyway, um, so let's, uh, I am, st I am still lost, though. What's this way? Oh, okay. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, let's, let's do a little tentacles, maybe, and we'll have Umi do a little flood, I think. And that'll be good. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Right, this is going great. Perfect. I could not imagine this battle going any better. Look! I come back, and I come back swinging, you know? Give me old one, two. I'm just glad that I didn't die again. Um, okay. Wait, there was something over here. Oh no, it was just a torch. I thought it was... Ah, oh, seriously. Stupid columns block in the way. <sighs> Beltman, alright. I do not want to see what Beltman can do. Oh, this is my tea. Actually, it's like a green tea latte powder stuff, but you don't care about that. Okay. <laughs> um, so I am going to death blow. Oh wait, no, Death Blow is not the right one. That's a combo finisher. I'm going to Blame Strike Beltman. And you are going to Blind Strike him. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Let's see, what should I do? Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do some tentacles. I'm not worried about um, using up all my MP now because... Uh, Because, um, consistently before, like, the boss battles, we always get a little MP save area, so it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, I'm gonna have Umi attack the sore heart, and then we'll just... This is fine, this is fine, we're gonna kill him. Okay, good. Yes! Woo! <laughs> oh, I... That's been two battles, so I, I might- I, I'm a little worried for the next two. Sorry, it's cold. I wanna drink my tea. Okay. Uh, cause Cthulhu has like no MP left. Have I been here before? I- I'm totally just going around in circles at this point. <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna have him attack. I won't just do. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And another flood. Oop, nope. Flood. <laughs> oh, nice! Look at that! We did so good! We did that so fast! Good job, you guys! Thanks for giving me your moral support. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, I've totally been here before. Okay, so, it just, it literally just goes in a circle. This is the last battle before we can finally just explore and be lost in peace. <sighs> yes, thank you, thank you. Excellent. Excellent. So, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty fine. Like I said, it's okay, so. What did I do wrong? It's a little cold right now. Okay, I'm literally just going around in circles at this point. Um. It's a little cold. 
got down below 30 last night, so that was, whew, that was a bit um, chilly. I had to move my plants inside actually a few nights ago because I had a lemon tree out there. It's probably not ever going to grow actual lemons, but I want to give it the chance, you know, to live. I'm going to guess that we do actually have to go up these stairs. Okay, hopefully there's a switch around here somewhere. Anyway, I like plants a lot. Huh? What? Okay. Okay. I did it without meaning to. I hope there are more chests because I want more potions because I have squandered my precious materials. Uh, no, I want to go up this time. What's up here? Speak of the devil. I feel like I have a better than steel sword right now. Wait, I how do I get to that? Okay. There's another chest I can acquire. No! Mm. <laughs> Oh, I bet it's- I have to go, like, behind the other stuff. Now I have to figure out how to get to the, um, the door. Is it up here? Yes. Success. Oh, yes. When I was in high school, I had a physics teacher. He was kind of a bad physics teacher, but he was very nice. He was a nice person. Um, He's a bad physics teacher. Anyway, he would always say, oh yes, in this little voice. I was bad at physics. Oh, cool. Okay, let's let's give this to, to Umi. Alright. Uh, nice. Nice. Good job. Excellent. I'm glad that we acquired that. <laughs> um, is it this way now? Yes, it is. And we'll just save it in slot A. Like, uh, I was seriously bad. Is there anything over here? Or is it just... <clears throat> no, it's nothing. I'll check on the other side, too, just because I'm... <sighs> I'm a hoarder video game harder. That's a very nice view. Very lovely. Let's get this. That's... Look at that huge sword! Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, Umi. That's a big sword. Wielding a sword that may would prove to everyone that I am a true hero. I must have it. Cthulhu, are you compensating for something? Cthulhu? How does Cthulhu reproduce? Cause... Cause... Cause if... Well, I, I call him he, but it's really more of an it, right? Cause it... it Cthulhu doesn't have like a gender? Or, or does he? It, I mean, obviously in this game he is acting fairly masculine and um... Um, but like, in the actual like Cthulhu mythos, and this is not important right now, <laughs> Cthulhu reaches for the sword, but before he touches it, the sword comes to life. Is that like Sharpe, or is that like Sharp? Is it just like fancy Sharp? <sighs> I don't even know what voice to do for this. Being of darkness, you dare to claim me on guard. Alright. Okay, let's do this. We can do it. First of all, let's call the Kraken, because that's just always what you want to do. Because the Kraken is just great and it happens every turn. 
Next, I will tentacles. And Ume will heal Hulu. Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. I didn't even check how much health this thing has. Way higher HP max than he'll have in a few minutes. What? Is he gonna join our team or something? I- I'll be honest with you, I don't necessarily want a, a anthropomorphized sword- anthropomorphic- uh, whatever. In my party, I don't- I don't know that I want that. You know? And if I did, I would want it to be like a cool sword, you know? Like... Like, this one's just kind of lame. I don't know. Maybe he'll surprise me in the fight. Um, no, I'm not just going to attack you. I am going to flame strike you. Oh, look at that. Yes. And Umi is going to blind strike. Yes. Oh. Tempest, okay. That's okay. Yay, the Kraken! Yeah, I don't know what to do. I guess just like attack him. Maybe I'll do Death Blow. Maybe we'll see how much that do does. And we'll have Lumi heal herself. Okay, 216. That's pretty good at 8 stacks. Multi Strike. Okay, it's not even that good. What? This is what's at the top of the hero shrine thing that's like super confusing. I am disappointed if, if I can be honest with you. Disappointed. I'm gonna do tentacles again and I'll just have Boomy heal. Heal Cthulhu. <sighs> Man, the spell's taken. Uh, I wish we could just take it. Why don't you be a good master sword and let me just pull you out of your slot? <laughs> I'll do another death blow. It won't really matter. Unless there's a secondary boss. Ugh. I hate it when that happens. You use up all your, your potions and your items and all your MP and like everybody's on the verge of death. And then, but you kill it, you kill the boss, and then all of a sudden, from its ashes, rises the larger boss, and you're like, why? It's gotten me killed a lot of times. Oh, look, he's so low. Oh! We can kill it, like, there we go. <laughs> we only got one MP back from that. Oh, but we got a lot of gold and a lot of experience. Alright, Cthulhu's level 12. Vitality is... It's like... Defense? I forgot. Well, you know, I said at the beginning that I was going to try to make Cthulhu more like magic -y, but... I seem to be making him more um, physical fighting, so I think I'll do this one. Alright, Umi. Slow strike. Targets one enemy. Power. Targets one group. Lower speed. 50%. I feel like I have a lot of group stuff. So I'm gonna do this one. Oh, but that could be really good. You know? But it costs more MP, and this one actually hurts the thing. I'm gonna do this one. Stop! Cthulhu is a good guy now! Well, not really. He's doing good things to get to an evil end. It's up in the air whether or not he's going to end up being a good guy, but just because he's doing good things doesn't mean he's inherently good. You know? He's got bad intentions. Not exactly a good guy. See? But I am trying to be a hero. Never mind the reason. Is this true? He looks so like... That sword looks like... 
a very strong jawline look. His whole face looks like a strong jawline. Cthulhu and Umi nod. Then I owe you an apology. Allow me to offer you my services. Cthulhu reaches for the giant sword. Not as a weapon, as an ally. Foreshadowing. <laughs> the master sword, I mean sword sword, Sharp, has joined your party. Alright, Sharp Cheddar, come in, come on, join us. Yay, a new friend! Aw, Umi, you little sweetie. Yes, more power! Let's celebrate by partying at the cafe back in town. Alright, oh, sorry. An excellent idea, young lady. No need to backtrack through the dungeon, just open up the main menu and select teleport to go back to any town or city that you've already visited. That's a little cheatsy. I wanna have a- oh! Oops. I'm gonna save it actually right now, just really quick. And then we're gonna chat. Uh, okay, nothing interesting. Okay. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Wait, yes it is. Is it? Ah! Teleport. I have only one option. Okay, look at us! The sword! <laughs> Which one's the cafe? I don't even know, to be honest. Is this it? I'm sorry, Sharp. This cafe is a strict ban against sentient sword policy. That's a little rude. I mean, non-sentient swords, sure, but sentient ones, like, they're not gonna... <sighs> but, but party! Sorry! Tee hee now I have you all to myself! Umi, that was really mean. That was really... I am disappointed in you. Okay, it's been 17 minutes, I'm gonna cut this off here. <laughs> We'll listen to Umi be a creeper in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching me just ramble on about things and, and fight random monsters and get lost. Oh, I actually only got lost like one time this, this episode. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.